I'm Julie Bartke with Session Update. After 17 hours and roughly 35 amendments, the Senate passed a bill that would allow daycare providers to vote on whether or not to unionize. The purpose of Senate File 778 is to allow two groups of workers, family daycare providers and personal care attendants, also known as home workers, to organize under Chapter 179A of the Public Employment Relations Act, known as PELRA, if they wish to. It's all about their choice and their right to decide to organize and to have the state get out of the way and let them exercise their rights. The goals for service recipients, for the children and the disabled and the elderly, is accessible care, quality care, and stable care. The goal for the service providers, the family daycare providers and the PCAs is fair wages, timely payments, and access to training. Well, obviously, I'm not the only one that's confused about this bill. 86 or 89% of the daycare providers out there are confused about this bill and the necessary need for this. So I would like to, number one, for all those daycare providers out there, you are apparently going to be given a choice whether you want to unionize. So I would get your act together and decide what you want to do and take all these options. And we try to make this bill better, but very, very few amendments were taken. And some very good amendments should have been adopted that would have made this better for everybody. And let me just as polite as I can be say this is a horrible, horrible, horrible bill. It is the worst bill that I've been a part of in my 11 years in this uh, wonderful chamber. And uh, as Senator Rosen just said, I think it's a, it's a bad day for Minnesota. It's, it's a very bad day for Minnesota. And, you know, when we grew up, uh, et cetera, uh, when I had my children, my wife took care of the kids. And so daycare wasn't part of our lives. But, but it, it seems to have become part of all of our lives because of, of what's going on here. And I would just say, when I first heard about daycare uni unionization of daycare, I mean, think about it. Uh, how does, how, how, why, why, why would you go down that road? How would it work? Well, you know, we kind of found out all this and, and, and why, because we've got to have a little training and maybe some better wages. And, and, and you start talking to the daycare providers and, and they say, no, we're, we're, we're happy. We're doing pretty well. All this bill does is the same thing that the Wagner Act did in 1935 and the same thing that Pelra did here in Minnesota in 1971. It just gives this group of workers that don't have the right to have a vote an opportunity to decide if they can form a union and form a bargaining unit so that they can bargain for some of the things that my union card has provided for me. My whole working career with the Carpenters Union, I've had health insurance provided for by my employer to a Taft-Hartley Labor Management Trust Fund. Members, in the first of every month, I draw, I, I draw a defined benefit pension fund because I am retired from there. Pension fund of over 30 years of contributions that my employer put into that. This union card put food on the table for my family my whole life. It bought that car that sits out on the south on the Capitol lawn. It put my kids through college. Because without it, you're alone. And you have no power to improve your standard of living because you stand by yourself. And again, Senator Sandy Pappas' bill passed with a final vote of 35 to 32. The debate highlights and other Senate activities can be found by following us on our Twitter, our YouTube, and our Facebook accounts.